Hey all, Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon video and we finally found some. The Jolteon V Max box. Uh, I was lucky enough to come across two of these at Target so I picked them up and offered them to my patrons Ty and Richard Omega who purchased the other two. Uh, now they can finally get all the promos and um, yeah uh, Ty you're up first and uh, yeah if you can find this at a Target I really almost never pay for any sealed like new sealed product above regular price so this thing has been tough to find uh, if you happen to see one i recommend picking it up it's a great product and um yeah all right tie you up good luck okay so uh, this box comes with the same coin again um a new jolteon pin this is where you know sometimes simple works just uh put some uh, energy symbols of, for the Pokemon in the background just got a nice pin here is the jumbo promo we're going with the VMAX first because you know this is the one evolution where I feel like the V is better than the VMAX um, I don't know all the other ones have a lot of Pokemon in the background is there any Pokemon in the back I don't see them uh, I was looking for like, I don't know, is this like Thunders or something? But I don't see anything. So kind of underwhelming V Max, but the V is really cool. Uh, it's kind of like looking around the city. It reminds me of um, one of the Umbreon cards. Oh, I think it was like Umbreon Dark Ride. I think they're running through the city. But um, once again, these are in perfect fits, very good quality. I feel like the centering isn't perfect, but that's, you know, what are you gonna do about that? As long as there's no huge dings or anything. Um, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so normal order. All right, Ty, good luck. Let's go this order. All right, so it's upside down. And here we go. We only got six packs per patron. Uh, but yeah, I did mention, you know, I, I refuse to pay, you know, extra for these products. And I'm still optimistic, Pile of Sand, into a hollow chandelier. Where, again, from now until the release of Brilliant Star, that, you know, they just keep pumping these out. So I've been seeing some Dragonite Hoopa V boxes as well. And um, so if that's all they make or all we see in stores from now until towards the end of February, you know, I do think this should become hopefully more available. I feel like, you know, times are pretty good in a way. We got Intellion, quick shooting, put two damage guns on the Pokemon. And then a Scolipede, where, you know, pro product is cheap. Uh, I picked up a booster box case of Fusion Strike from, you know, a normal vendor. Went to website, picked up a case for, I don't know, it's like crazy price. I think it was below, it was below like $90 a box. So things are very affordable. Some places are like fire sailing. They're Fusion Strike ETBs or B&B boxes. Uh, starting to feel like you're almost better than the good old days where right? you can pick up whatever you want at MSRP. Um, you know, it seems like some vendors just over purchased maybe and now they're just trying to get rid of it. So, uh, but then every once in a while there are some really good products like this one that are just tough to find. Uh, so I suppose like they are still scalpable, but you know, again, don't, <laughs> I'm optimistic that they'll just keep pumping them out and then from here until the release of the next set. Hopefully everyone can find some. We got a Dancer. Ooh, into a pretty cool Golem. Looks like he's definitely about to self-destruct. Desperate Blast. Uh, but yeah, no hits. I did come prepared. Got another quick ball. Uh, we do have a couple packs set aside for each of the patrons in case they do completely whiff, which can happen. Very easily happen when you only have six packs. But onto the second Fusion Strike. Whoa! Then we got the Evolving Skies. Slagoo. Oh, okay. Bolton V. Yep, it's fine. Ooh, look at that centering. Alright, so we didn't go hitless. We get a Bolton. Not as cool as the um, older Bolton. Can't remember what's that. Alright, Evolving Skies. We got the TV Heroes background, just because I've been <laughs> trying to organize some of my sealed product and these kind of like didn't really fit in the box that they were in, so. All right, Lit Leo, nice Eevee. Hitmonchant, a Gigalith. Ah, into just a Talonflame. 
All right, for that, uh, we'll grab we'll get, grab this for Ty. Thanks for the support, Ty. And oh, what the felt like a card still in the pack. It was just a code card. Coughing into a Raboot. Ooh, a pretty cool Rillaboom, but it's only be one hit for Ty. And oh yeah, no. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up, and we'll be back with Richard Omegas. Okay, Mr. Omega, you are up, and I'm curious how some of these promos, well, actually a lot of, like, new cards, we're actually grading it. It's going to be pretty tough. Like, look at this centering for the VMAX, clearly off-center. Um, however, this Jolteon V, which I actually like the art better, uh, does look pretty well-centered. So, a candidate for PSA, I thought maybe it was Nick here, but looks good. All right, same pack selection as the last time. Last... And here we go. Six more packs. Yeah, I am a little confused by this uh, Jolteon V Max art. Where I wonder, actually, this is, I mean, it could be anything, but it took me a while to find the Jolteons. And I was like, oh, does that mean Jolteon is the most popular one? Which I could see. Um, but then for, for this ex specific example, um, it was, you know, for me, it's the least least impressive alternate art and that's that's really why you know this is such a solid product is because of these promo alt arts all right rock rough into a glade where like these packs are just bonus haven't uh looked at the single prices for these um but if it uh comes down to a reasonable price again you know i probably won't look until closer to the release of or you know sometime mid february mid to late february again speculating that this product will just continually to hit shelves all right whiff on the first three got two fusion strikes followed by evolving skies it's funny art and as always, thanks for checking out the video. If you do want to support the channel, just like and subscribe. Huge shout out to all the patrons for supporting me there. All right. Second Fusion Strike. Actually, I feel like only like one hit per box of these has been kind of the theme. One or zero. We did get lucky. One of the, uh, I think it was Ty, she picked up a Seeker Rare. I do like that Latias. All right, down to the Evolving Skies. I was just watching a, what was it, TCA video and had some, uh, I think it was for consignment, the Alt Art Rayquaza V Mac. Oh man, that guy looks so good. Evolving Skies, definitely my favorite of the recent sets. Just a lot of good things to pull. If you can get <laughs> Alt Art. Which is no easy feat. Remember, uh, all right, we'll grab two for Richard Omega for the big whiff. I uh, got a battle styles and a chilling rain. Looking for that drunk Titar. Ooh, might have something here. Looks like it might just be a V, but uh, you know, constellation pack coming in clutch. It is a cricket tune V. We will take it. All right, so at least one hit for each of you. And Chilling Rain. Let's go with that Zapdos again. Surfetched into <laughs> a nice Galarian Weezing. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'm Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.